Welcome to The Freak Show. There's so much speculation online about the storyline to season 8 of American Horror Story that I had to include my own personal theory. Now I found some spectacular fan theories in the comments of my videos and there were so many that I'm going to give them their own video. So expect the best fan theories video next. And then of course please remember that this is my theory and will contain spoilers from the previous seasons. Now my theory is this. We will get a new storyline for season 8 that will intersect with characters from Murder House and Coven, hence the crossover. I predict Evan will be Sarah's hairdresser and the one to introduce her to the world of witches. And knowing Ryan and his love of complicated mother-son issues, I bet Joan will be like a twisted grandmother who probably like berates and emasculates him for being gay, you know, like while secretly desiring him. <laughs> Um, his character, uh, Evan's character, is probably going to be an important person to the coven because I bet Joan is either one of the founding mothers or it was on the council, something like that. Anyway, I think Ryan will write one badass character for Joan, and I believe she will be a witch. And I'm predicting she won't be the one out to get Cordelia, as Ryan suggested. Now, getting back to Sarah, she'll be Evan's client. She's probably been his client for some time, and he will be her connection to the coven after she demonstrates like some kind of magical power that grabs attention. Maybe like she'll stop a tragic event with precognition, or will you uh, like um, is caught using telekinesis on camera and it goes viral. You get my point. Sarah will be some sort of powerful addition to the coven, um, and the witches will want to draw it from her. Now, speaking of the coven, I think Leslie Grossman will be the mother to the L.A. coven the way Cordelia was before she became the Supreme. Um, Billy Lord and Billy Eichner will be witches, while Cheyenne, Kathy, and Adina will be on the witches' council. They'll be the new members, obviously. Uh, the main conflict of the season, I predict, will be this. The witches are under heavy scrutiny after coming out and have discarded powerful witches when they applied for the school. Now, <clears throat> in my belief, this has created an alternate coven, a dark alternate coven. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can you get any darker than Fiona Good? But my feeling is Cordelia had to turn some of the witches after they joined the school. Maybe they had to, you know, kick them out and it made them bitter. Joined along with those who had never been received, I, they're going to all form this alternative coven. I do believe Cordelia will return in certain episodes and her coven will be unaware of their new dark rivals until it's too late. And the two covens come to like a powerful and violent confrontation, uh, hopefully during Ryan Murphy's explosive episode five. Now, due to all the ghosts and energy in the murder house, both covens will see it as an ultimate symbol of power. So they both get the idea to go there and to basically drain it of the energy meeting their rival coven in the process. A magical fight will ensue, and the dark coven will win. And the fallout, hence the supposed name of the season, which I don't believe obviously it is, but the fallout will be a huge threat to Cordelia's coven, her re public reputation, and as supreme reign. Now, where will the witches get such an idea about the power in the murder house? My answer is Billy Dean Howard, who will probably cameo, or camo again, cameo, excuse me, again this season. After episode five, the season will review, I think, the, uh, the history of witchcraft, questions will be answered, and Cordelia and her coven will work to gain their strength for one final confrontation with the Darker Coven. Now, if I were writing the script, I'd say that the Darker Coven would win. That's how I'd write it. However, this is Ryan Murphy's world, so I'm sure Cordelia will slaughter them. <laughs> but that is my theory for season eight of American Horror Story, and what did you think? Now here's my second theory, because this is based on a quote from Ryan Murphy regarding the crossover season. I believe he gave this quote in January of this year, uh, 2018, or possibly earlier. But he said, it's a character from season one that will be thrust into the world that you were left with at the end of Coven, which is sort of like the male-female witch academy. 
First of all, Ryan said this much earlier, uh, and so this is, I don't know if it even still applies, but if it does, here's my theory for it. Now, as you all know, there's only three survivors from Murder House, Michael Langdon, Billy Dean Howard, and Constance Langdon. Michael is three years old at the end of Murder House and ages quicker uh, than most children, but not by much. So if it's October 2019 in the season eight storyline, that would make Michael eight years old, but with the appearance of a tween. Constance is probably alive, uh, you know, if Michael hasn't killed her yet. Um, but I think the story will continue with Michael rather than Billy Dean Howard. So let's explore that theory just a tad. Um, it's my feeling that Jessica Lange probably won't want a leading role this season unless Ryan, you know, knocks it out of the park with the writing. And though I don't doubt his abilities, I just don't think Jessica wants to be a main character again. And if she is a main character, I mean, you bet your ass Ryan and all uh, American Horror Story social media will be going wild with notifications that Jessica's back. So I'm going to automatically strike her out since it hasn't been announced yet. We know that the end of Hotel, the year is 2022, and Billy is chased out of the hotel by the ghosts. And the storyline for the season eight is set to take place in October, 2019. Now in there, there's uh, in the hotel, there's no mention of Billy Dean uh, joining a coven during the bio, uh, during the bio, I can't even say it, during the, uh, the biography that Iris gives us in the hotel. Now it's possible that Billy didn't include the coven on her resume. I sincerely doubt that's something that maybe she wanted to include. Um, but based on her television specials, I highly doubt that a witchy coven was her thing. So I do doubt the theory of Michael being the main character since so much time has changed since Ryan said it. But let's say for the premise of, you know, for season eight, uh, here's my theory, including Michael as the main character. Michael Langdon is a tween living in another section of Louisiana, or of sorry, Los Angeles with Constance and is going by the name like, you know, Charles DeLongpre or something like that. Now he wonders why he kills kittens and teachers who piss him off. Constance refuses to disclose the identities of his real parents. And since she knows that he's the Antichrist, she basically tells him nothing. So through pictures in a scrapbook um, that Constance keeps, Michael will see the murder house and will recognize it later, which will come into the theory here in just a moment. Now he'll see the news reports of the Covens and Cordelia's invite for all of them to join, which he will. Uh, Cordelia will realize that he's someone powerful and dark when she meets him, um, but thinks that she can help him stay on the right path, so she'll keep him in the school. Now he'll learn the history of witches and meet the other kids in the school, but I do predict that things will turn violent and deadly very quickly and Michael will flee the school that's conveniently located right near the murder house. He'll probably recognize it and go inside, find his parents and the rest of the bloodthirsty ghosts. <laughs> um, this will probably be the episode five uh, explosion of when Michael meets the ghost and the fallout will probably refer to the struggle of power between Michael and Cordelia. He will probably find his inner power and desire to take over the coven as his own personal army and Cordelia will fight him leaving one dead and the other the leader of the witches. So that is the end of my theories, guys. What did you think of them? Leave your opinions in the comments. And if you like the video and you're enjoying the theories, please give it a like. As you'll know, I love your theories, so please make sure to include them in the comments and I'll probably reply to you. More to come, such as the best season eight fan theories, uh, Billy Lord, Witcher Woman, and my Sarah Paulson season eight theory video. I'm going all out for my patrons and viewers, so subscribe so you don't miss the videos. Patrons get the videos much earlier, as well as other exclusive rewards, and it's their generosity that pays for the prizes I give away. So become a Patreon by clicking on the link in the description. Thank you all so much for your love and support. Thanks for watching, and beware of sexy scathage. Mm -mm.